Want to know more about any of the stories you're watching tonight? Go to HLNTV.com and start reading. Next, I have a guest who argues that Casey knows precisely exactly what she is doing, and she is on a campaign to get more attention and releasing these tapes intentionally. I know lots of you believe that, but I'm going to argue that with her in just a minute. So stay with us. And tonight, as I've been discussing, Casey Anthony's second video diary leaks, evidently, online. The 25-year-old is back to being a brunette, and she so shows off a new ear cuff and a nose peering, pe piercing. I'm not sure I know the difference between a cuff and a piercing. What's this? Hi. 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 Now, the question here is, Casey being hacked? That is, in fact, what her lawyers are saying. Jose Baez is even threatening legal action, and I've heard her other attorneys say they are yeah. definitely going to take being legal action because they insist the videos were hacked from Casey's computer, that they were for her personal use, I suspect therapeutic use, and she never planned to release them. Release them. I believe this. I've heard that Casey's in treatment, and these videos could be part of a video journal that to help someone like Casey, who doesn't understand how she's perceived by others, get a sense of how she is perceived and how she comes across, and maybe a little more reflection, which she has none. But others, like my guest, argue Casey knows precisely what she's doing and just wants more attention. Dr. Oh, Judy Koreanski joins me now. Judy. Of course, Lisa Bloom is back with me in the studio. She is right. an attorney and author of Think. Judy, you say these tapes are, quote, a ploy by a masterful con funny. artist. And you wouldn't be surprised if she I eventually think, or soon released a sex tape. Why is this? I would think so because she reminds me of Kim Kardashian and Paris Hilton and Pam Anderson. It's all about me, 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 as we could tell from in one of her video clips where there's 50 almost references to herself. And come on, Drew, what would a grieving mother be saying in her video journal you and i have certainly treated people who are suffering from losses a grieving mother would be inconsolable would be talking about the loss of her child mothers don't get over this for the rest of their life she would be crying she wouldn't be giggling and pointing out her nose piercing well, now, look, Judy, I would just say that, first of all, this, her grieving was something that she should have done four years ago. But she didn't do it even then. I, I, this is somebody who's severely impaired. There's absolutely no doubt about that. And secondly, these are little snippets of presumably, you know, who knows how many volumes of these video diaries that she's keeping. And yes, and somewhere in there, I would expect to see her a grieving mother, but we didn't see it on the one that's been released. If she were going to release something, and by the way, me, 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 I, I, I is precisely what you put in a journal. So that's why I'm just taking issue with the fact that everyone is jumping all over this thing and drawing conclusions that I, I'd love to make. Casey's a, a pain in the butt, but I'm not sure I can do that just from this video. But, but it's so obvious. But, but Drew, come on. Four years, and you know this too, you're a master at treating people who are untreatable. Even four years after a child has died, People are not walking around wearing all kinds of revealing clothes and looking like they're trying to be in a, in a celebrity feature or a reality show. She might be talking about her uh, the loss of the relationship with her parents. There would be some feeling, and you know too, this is more like what the word you use, the borderline personalities, the histrionic women who are so overdramatic, the narcissists, yes. these people yes. who really are talking about themselves, but it's all yes. about getting attention. And when you give them all that attention, Drew, they do not heal and help. They only get well, that's fed true. That's into true. their problems. Yeah, that's right. It, it, that's right. And, and there are people like that, I'll grant you. And she may be that. I, I think she may be that. I'm just saying I can't really conclude it from these videos. And yeah, she, she, the problem though is that she had psychiatric testing in jail, and I talked to the psychiatrist that administered the test, and he insisted, I don't know if you remember this, Lisa, when we actually had the psychiatrist that did the sort of exit interview of Casey Anthony, he insisted there was only narcissism on her personality profile, and even that was not extensive, which I couldn't believe. I, I tried to take him to task on it, but he kept saying, well, that's just mild. But the fact is, 
that's psych testing. There may be neuropsych okay, issues that don't get detected. I, I hate to break it to you, therapist, but she could just be a despicable human being absolutely. and not have a mental disorder. Absolutely, and that's what and, Judy's saying, I think. And absolutely, and I think she, she is could be. she's a despicable human being. And if I have to choose between Casey Anthony and some tabloid website that may have hacked in and got it, but I don't you guys, know who Lisa, I'm going to interrupt you. I'm that's going to awesome. interrupt you. Judy Kransky, you you sort of associated her with Pam Anderson and Kim yeah, Kardashian. That's not fair. Well, that's not compared to Kim and, and, and Pam. Pam but but let's come. Let's all compare her to Vandersloot. There's a killer. Yes. There's a criminal, guys. That you compare her to Vandersloot and it goes, hmm. This right. seems different. This seems yes. different than that. Even you, Lisa. Yeah, even look, you. I, mean, I, don't, yeah, I don't like these reality show stars, but Pamela Anderson has a lot of things for animals, which is one of the causes near and dear to my heart. So let's not compare her to Casey Anthony. That's a little harsh. I know what you're saying, Dr. Judy. You're saying that she will do anything for attention, as a lot of reality true. show stars yeah. will. Yes. But we don't know if she intentionally leaked this or not, or if some tabloid you know, hacked in, as tabloid, tabloids have been known to do, to hack into people's websites, into their computers, into their phones. So we don't know at this point, but I would say this. Fool me twice, shame on me, right? This is twice now that it's leaked. How does she keep doing the same thing and getting it leaked over and over again? Where, she doesn't secretly well, want it. Well, I'm Jose Baez making it on that. Judy, I'm going to give you the last word here. i got about a minute left. You go ahead. And she says, tune in for more. And so what we are being <laughs> spoken to and drawn in here. So, Drew, she's different from That's Vanderson. He's evil. And you know there are different grades of psychiatric disorders, even if she has... A, a kind yes. of organic brain syndrome as you're talking about. But yes. I think yes. this is a woman who has conned us well. Uh, Judy, you may well be right, and uh, I'm just not sure I can conclude it from the tape, but I thank both of you for we the spirited see. spirited conversation, and we will tune in for more, no doubt, on HLN. I have no doubt that there will be tuning in to Casey Anthony for more. Thank you guys. Now, next.